Welcome back. When you live in paradise, you think there's always something to do. And then when you have to actually make a plan, I at least always come up empty and say, I have no clue where to go or what to do, <laughs> but I live in paradise. So we have Robin Rocky, the author of 100 Things to Do in Orange County Before You Die. So since you're watching this, I know you're still with us, and I'm very excited to be able to check out her 100 things. Robin, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. It's really fun to have you here. So I'm not originally from California. I, I'm an East Coaster. I moved from New York City eight years ago, mm -hmm. and I know you're also not a Californian born and bred, so tell us how, how you came to this. Right. Well, um, one of the reasons why I wanted to write the book was to really encourage people to explore their own backyards. Yeah. And like you said, we live in one of the most beautiful, amazing places in the entire world. And I moved here from Illinois about 12 years ago. Uh, I like to say I traded cornfields for coastlines. <laughs> <laughs> this is a pretty big upgrade for me. Um, so there's so many hidden gems that I was able to find. Um, I would just go out exploring every weekend um, ever since I moved here. So I really wanted to share that with people. That's great. So Tell us, so in the theme of our Valentines and all things love, this segment is all about love where you live. Mm -hmm. And so I'm probably going to get in trouble from the Irvine company. They, they probably own that <laughs> phrase. But we all want to love where we live. And so tell us, what, what would you say we should do for a romantic or special Valentine's Day? Yeah, one of the special things about Orange County this time of year is January through March, there's a huge gray whale migration. So there's 25,000 of these whales and they migrate between Baja California and Alaska. And um, marine biologists think they use the Dana Point headlands as a navigational point. Oh, wow. So a really nice, romantic, special, truly unique thing to do is take a whale watching cruise, mm -hmm. which is really fun. Uh, one of my place, favorite places to watch for whales is the Balboa Pier. Yep. Um, and you can go to the Ruby's Diner there if you want to have a little romantic lunch. Um, and actually, that's the very first Ruby's that was um, founded in Orange County. Oh, oh cool. wow. <laughs> I didn't know that was the first Ruby's. I don't think I've been to that one. Very fun. I've been to a handful of them. Yeah, yeah. it used to be an old bait shop for oh, fishermen. Cool. <laughs> well, that makes sense. It's out on the end of the pier. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that would make sense. Um, that's a great couples or friends, mm -hmm. just group or even single outing. What else should we be doing? Um, I love, uh, if you want a really nice romantic dinner, the Cellar Restaurant in Fullerton. Mm -hmm. um, it's beautiful. It's very secluded. It's kind of like a dark um, steakhouse vibe. And the interior is very special. It was designed by the same craftsman that built the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland. How fun. Yeah, which a lot of people don't know that. So there's these really cool Baroque sculptures, um, very romantic. Actually, uh, Richard Burton proposed to Elizabeth Taylor for the second time there. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. So if you're looking for a proposal spot, that might be uh, good for you. <laughs> Did they have that picture hanging on the wall? Yes. <laughs> okay. So that would fit because Valentine's Day is, I think, next to Christmas. Mm -hmm. the most popular day for proposals, right? Yeah, I think you're right. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so that's exciting. What other suggestions? I mean, there are so many cool spots. We can't possibly go through them all. So just if we were to <laughs> stick in the Valentine's mode, right? Yeah. What, what do you do for Valentine's Day? Um, our, our tradition is we have dinner at the ranch in Laguna Beach. Oh, beautiful spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, I think that's also in your book, isn't yes, it? Yeah, uh -huh. it is. Yeah, it's it's. I play golf there all the time too, but but to go up there and sit and since they've remodeled it, it's mm -hmm. just absolutely gorgeous and um, we like to go a little bit early and it surprisingly doesn't get too crowded, mm -hmm. you know. So that's kind of our thing. We we kind of keep it sort of low key now, but um, yeah, my wife loves to hike and and um, especially down by like Monarch. There's some really nice trails and you can walk along the coast and stuff like that. So couple little things when we, we make it down towards Laguna Beach, you know. That's great. Yeah, the Strands Beach Park is a great place. I don't know yeah. if you've been down there. Mm -hmm. Really good hiking trails. They actually have a funicular, which is like an outdoor elevator that can take you down to the beach. Oh, yeah, so cool. if you have any mobility challenges, it's a really great accessible nice. beach. 
Um, another great place to hike is very close to here. It's called Laguna Niguel Botanical Preserve. Mm -hmm. And this is a place, it's in Crown Valley Park. I drove by this park for five years every single day and I had no idea it was there till I started researching this book. Um, so it's about 18 acres and they have 2,000 species of plants. Wow. Beautiful flowers. I went there last spring and they had purple flowers, yellow flowers. It's just gorgeous. Very romantic if you want to take a nice little stroll and it has these just beautiful views of the Saddleback Mountains too. Oh, beautiful. It seems like there's there's a lot of things you can do around here that don't necessarily cost anything mm -hmm. also, which is cool. I mean, there's the landscape and is so vast and different mm -hmm. that, you know, you could be up in the mountains and, you know, a couple hours later be down at the down beach. The beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I yeah. love that. Absolutely. One of the um, my favorite things to do in the book is show people how you can enjoy Orange County luxury on a budget and even for free. Um, so the Montage uh, Hotel is a great place to oh, go. Yeah. yeah, they have beautiful succulents. Um, you can see uh, sea lions and seals playing on the beach, and it's open to the public. The oh, I bet most people don't know that. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and That's uh, really nice. Christmas time is really nice over there too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big Christmas tree and. Um, yeah, I I live I used to live at Victoria Beach, so I would oh, nice. I could like <laughs> low tide you could walk all the way down to the Montage. Oh, that's so um, cool! And yeah, it's beautiful, yeah. and you don't necessarily need to be a guest to to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And you don't even need to be part of a couple to enjoy it. Exactly. It sounds like something that we can enjoy on our own as well. Yeah, yeah, that's great. And Victoria Beach is a great place to have a little adventure because there's a very special architectural feature there, right? <laughs> yeah, the um, there's a name for it, but it's it looks like a lighthouse kind of, right? Mm -hmm. It's like a tower built yeah. into the side of a house. Yeah, it looks kind okay. of like a pirate tower. Or yeah, <laughs> I, I, what's the history? Do you know what the history is? It's just is? part of a private home that someone mm -hmm. built the tower because they thought it was cool. And now people, um, it, like it's in um, it's like all their Instagram. Part. and Yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. The homes of Instagram. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there, there's some pretty spectacular houses down there, yeah, too. Mm -hmm. I bet. Yeah, I bet. That's a walk I need to take. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be super fun. So give us one or two more more of your favorites? I love taking the ferry to Balboa Island. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that I learned about the history of Orange County, I learned so much while writing this book, is that the pavilion that was built in the fun zone and the peninsula was actually built in the late, um, early 1900s. And there's tons of history there. There was actually, uh, since it was such a popular spring break spot in the 1930s, there was a dance called the Balboa Hop that originated um, on Balboa Island. Wow. So, yeah. Who knew? <laughs> That's cool. <Right. laughs> yeah, there's there's so much history in Orange County. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not from here originally. I'm from California, but Northern mm -hmm. California. Um, and I've lived here about seven years now, but there's a lot that I still haven't experienced. Yeah. So it'll be really cool to go through this book and find some really fun stuff to do, you know? But mm -hmm. it's funny what you say. I also drive past places and it never dawns on me. I. I I don't really know what's behind the door, or I mm -hmm. don't really get there. <laughs> and I always say to myself, I should stop here, I should stop here. Or right now I'm all about discovering dog parks since I just adopted a dog. Oh, yeah. And so you'd be surprised <laughs> behind which rows of bushes and trees you can actually find a beautiful dog park. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so they're very well hidden, but they're everywhere. I think Orange County really has taken a lot into consideration mm -hmm. of integrating the environment with the development. So oh, absolutely. It keeps it beautiful. Mm -hmm. So give us, wrap us up with uh, a, one last highlight. I would say um, for Valentine's Day, it's a great time to try new restaurants. Um, in Orange County, we have such a huge diversity of cultures. Um, one of my favorite uh, restaurants is called Awlock in Fountain Valley, and it's oh. a plant-based Vietnamese food. Mm -hmm. oh, if nice. you're looking for something um, closer to home, over in Mission Viejo, there's Bahar, which is a Persian restaurant. Really amazing food, um, great views. It's uh, generally pretty quiet, so a really good spot for Valentine's Day. Excellent. So how can our viewers get the book? Uh, you can go to my website, orangecounty100.com, um, and I can sign the copy for you. If you leave me a little note, I can personalize it for you. And if there's certain things you're into, like hiking, dining, mm -hmm. I'd be happy to recommend places for you, too. That's so nice. <laughs> awesome. Robin, thanks so much for coming in. Thank I know you. our viewers are just going to love all this information, and I hope they'll reach out and get your book. Great. Thank you so much. Thank thanks, you. Robin. And we'll be right back. Mm -hmm.